I'm going to make it longitudinal wave and what is the example of longitudinal wave is the sound wave. When I talk you hear is because this, the sound coming out from my uh, mouth vibrates the air molecule and that one vibrates the other air molecule and that one vibrates the other molecule and that one vibrates the other molecule until it gets to your ear. So what happen if you remove the ear? Then well the sound wave cannot move then. What does that mean? Sound wave needs a medium. Sound wave needs a medium to transfer energy from my mouth to your ear. If you remove the ear, the sound wave won't be able to transfer anything and you won't be able to hear anything. This is longitudinal wave. The example of this wave is the sound wave. Our case study would be sound wave. So let's understand the longitudinal wave. So let's uh, copy and paste, uh, paste this a few times. If I do copy and paste one more time, so one more time, what do I get? What do I get? I get, let's put some point using different color. So put A over here, put B over here, put C over here, put D over here, put E over here, put F over here. Call this one compression. Later on, when I drop slinky from my hand, you're going to see compression is really very interesting topics. So slinky will have the top and bottom, and then when I drop it, which part will touch the ground, top, bottom, or both, top and bottom at the same time. Very interesting case study and experiment we're gonna do. So I'm gonna be uh, very excited to sharing this with you that is coming up. Now, what do we call it? We call it compression. Compression. There is other, other word, condensation. You can call it condensation. So this is rarefaction. Now, how many wavelength over here? Let's see how many wavelength. So from compression to compression, one blend, two wavelength, and two and a half. So 2.5 wavelength. How many way you can get 2.5 wavelength? So let's say A to C is equal to, of course, B to D uh, is equal to, equal to C to E, all right, is equal to D to F. So one, two, three, four away, you can get 2.5 wavelength. Now we're gonna do case study, and that is sound wave. Things, what are the two things? Then one is bulk module, and of course the other one is called density. The bulk module sometimes called pressure. And the sometimes it also called compression. All right, and there is a notation for bulk module and density also have a notation rho. The bulk module has an equation because what is the pressure when we talk about pressure, we talk about force over area. And when we talk about density, we talk about, of course, the mass over volume. All right, so let's see what contributes what when we talk about sound wave. Before that, I'm gonna give you some understanding on, of sound wave. Sound wave, when, sound wave, when we change the medium, for example, sound wave needs medium because sound wave is a mechanical wave, it needs medium. And it moves faster in different medium. So let's check three medium. Uh, what can be example of gas? I think air. What could be example liquid, water? What can be an example of solid? I don't know, iron. Okay, now gas, you know, of course, gas is like the particles, they spread around, mile away from each other. Liquid, is, they are not that tightly bound, but the solid, they are very close to each other. They are very close to each other. All right, this one is stiffer. And this one is the steepest. All right, what is steep has to do with this? Well, the more steep it is, then the velocity would be a greater. For example, velocity in the gas is smaller than velocity in the liquid, which is smaller than velocity in the solid, which is iron. What does that mean? If I take you to the rail station and if I stand over here and 20 meter 
away my sibling stand up and i say something with 20 hearts my sibling ain't gonna hear me however if i knock the railroad the iron with a hammer with 500 hearts then if my sibling put a ear on the red line my sibling will be able to hear it because the sound wave the velocity of sound wave moves faster in the solid than of course in the air but anyway we have to prove that so let me give you the formula if i don't give you formula how can you find out so let me give you the formula so let's find the relationship so b is of course the bulk uh, modules and p is the density so p is m over v and then b is f over a now if the mass go off then of course of course if the p go off if the p go off what does that p means density go up mass go up then inertia go up what does that mean if mass go up then velocity go down what does that mean and velocity is equal to one over one over what one over one over one over p one over density all right what about here if the if the force go up then bulk module go up if bulk module go up force also go up so there is they are proportional to each other so we can put together a formula for the velocity we can put together a formula for the velocity okay so the velocity is then is then is then this is b and this is velocity so velocity is then uh b over p so now we don't know whether we need to modify this formula so let's see whether we need to modify this formula by doing very simple uh, uh what do you call dimensional analysis you know einstein right einstein had hypothesis e equal to mc squared e equal to mc cube e equal to mc4 and dimensional analysis he used and he used dimensional analysis to find that e equal to indeed mc squared now what is m over here kilogram what is b over here cubic meter right let's see over here what is f over here newton a over here is square meter n is kilogram meter per second is square and this is meter is square now we're going to put on top of each other so the velocity is b what is b b is kilogram meter second is square meter is square and of course and of course um the p is kilogram over cubic kilogram over kilogram over cubic meter so now if we do math what do we get kilogram meter second square meter square times me cubic meter over kilogram 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 cancel so we have meter times meter meter square over second square now if we take the square root we get meter over second and that's the velocity so it seems like we have to modify this formula what does that mean we have to write v is equal to mo uh, bulk modules over p of course this is the velocity of the sound that means of course as we see the sound is small over here big over here very big over here hopefully this will allow you to solve and prove that this is in fact true